Okay, this is gonna be a part two from my previous video where I show how to get this app and how to use it and why is this app uh, useful. So I ended the video when I was about to show the service menu because I realized the service menu has uh, personal information, you know, your IP address, the serial number of your TV and some other uh, information. So that's why I have the cell phone on my hand here. So that's the only thing I'm not going to show because, you know, nobody should care about that anyway. So just as a reminder, you click here on the options and you click here. Show advanced actions under the exper expert button. So you click here, you get the warning. Hey, be careful. You're, get, you're going to get access to the service menu and you can damage your TV. So keep that in mind. You really need to take it seriously if you want to make any changes on the service menu. You have to take it seriously because you can really damage the TV. So you come here, expert, and you come and click here, in start. So Again, these three options here are new after you hit that uh, box there. Be careful. Before you touch this or you touch this, do your research. See what this is. What this is. Is the adjustment. And do your research. Don't even touch it. If you don't know what it, what it is or what it's going to do, don't even touch it. So if we click here in start. We're going to get access to the service menu. The app is going to fill that password and you are in. So on the service menu, you use your remote control. And uh, let me see. Let me go here to the left. OK. So with your remote control, the normal remote control, you can scroll down. So on the service menu, we have some uh, useful information uh, like for example how how long has the TV been uh, on basically how long has been used so let me come here and show you that is a U T T U T T 237 so that means the TV has been used 237 hours so it has been on 237 hours. So before calibration, for example, you need to make sure you've been using the TV for 200 hours or more. That's, that's a very useful information to know. So the other thing you can check here, and this is why some people are so interested in getting access to this menu, is you can check if you have an EVO panel. So you scroll down to that OLED, number 12 and you come here and you can check WBE or WBC on all its self info cell info so WBE that's the evil panel not that it matters a lot it does have a different uh, separation between blue and you have the blue, you have the green and the red. It does have a separation, like a different separation. Like the EVO panel is a little bit more separated. So I guess that can maybe give you better uh, color. Not really. Uh, and the EVO panel has a disadvantage also. It has a, a more uh, pronounced uh, pink tint. If you have a full white image and you look at the TV off axis like this, it's a what is a full white the TV just uh, computer just turned off. So if you have a white background and you look at it off axis, you might see a pink tint. On my case, for example, you see that's white there. I don't see anything. I don't see any pink tint in front of me not at all and if it's a full screen white I'm not interested in looking at that anyway <laughs> if I get a 
if I get a full white on the screen, like a, for example, Bandai Nanko logo or something like that, I'm just closing my eyes. <laughs> I'm not interested in, in looking at that. So what options I, I am changing here on, on my service menu? And this is not something that I recommend, but I'm going to disclose it because I'm showing all the time my settings and how do I get the results that I get. So I have to show you what I'm gonna do, okay? So here on OLED, I'm going to disable TPC. So again, do your research. I am, I am not an expert. I am not the, the kind of person you should be uh, listening to when it comes to making changes here because this is a serious this is a serious deal you can break the TV okay I'm not an expert you should not be listening to me uh, and doing the same thing that I'm doing but what you can do is study and you know, understand what this TPC is and if it makes sense for you to turn it off. I'm going to turn it off because I did my research and what this setting is supposed to do is to dim the screen when it detects when the when the TV is detecting that you have a static image. So that's great. Let's say you pause a movie and you go and do something else. It's going to be dimming the screen to prevent uh, image retention. The problem is that this setting also sometimes is going to kick in when you have dynamic content on the screen. So for example, if you have a very dark uh, video game or a very dark scene that goes on for a while, like for example, I was playing Alien Isolation, okay? Very, very dark game. After a while, I realized that it was the luminance was going down and down and down and down. I said, oh, maybe this part is darker. Let me adjust the gamma on the game. And it would just keep going down and down. So that fixes that problem. If you have something that's on the screen that's very dark, the TV, uh, by mistake, thinks that that's a static image and it's going to lower the luminance even more. But again, do not listen to me because I'm not an expert. Do your own research and see if it makes sense for you to turn that off. Okay. The other thing that I would advise you to do your research is this one, GSR. I try it off, but I'm actually going to turn it on back again because what that setting is supposed to do is when it detects uh, when the when the TV detect a logo, just to dim that logo, and I think that's a great feature. If it doesn't cause any other uh, overall dimming, I am okay with that. So I'm gonna keep doing my research there and see if it makes sense to turn that off. Uh, for now, I'm gonna leave it on. Uh, I didn't on my research. I didn't find this. GSR acting um, the way it's not intended to to work like this TPC this TPC does have some that issue that I was mentioning but GSR I didn't find any issue but also I heard from uh, a podcast not a podcast like a live stream I was listening to uh, it was uh, Sammy is a professional calibrator and ninjitian and one peop one person asked hey is there any risk in turning these two settings off and Sammy said I have like four TVs three of them or two of them I don't remember have that off for a long time I have no problem so that shouldn't cause any any issues but again do your research also, I heard from, uh, what is his name, Vincent Tio from HDTV Test on a video he was talking about how to make the 
LGC1, how to convert that to the G1 here on the service menu and if you should do that or not or whatever. And he mentioned, oh, it's a problem that if LG decides to prevent uh, everyone from going to the service menu, menu by doing a firmware up update or just on the new generation of TVs, and we don't want that to happen because we wouldn't be able to turn off these two settings. So what that tells me is that he does the same thing. He turns off those two settings. So there you go. Three people that know a lot more than me that based on what I'm hearing from them, they turn those two settings off. And yeah, but nobody's gonna, nobody that is responsible is gonna do a video and tell you, hey, you should make these changes on the service menu. You should have the disclaimer and say, hey, learn what you're doing before you make any changes here because you can really mess up your TV. The other thing that you can uh, do your research and learn and see if it makes sense for you to make the change is this module HDR. You see that is on normal, that's the default value. So what this module HDR can do for you, if you change it, you can get a brighter SDR image. And why would you need a brighter SDR image for black frame insertion? That's it. The problem is if you change that value, that module HDR, if you change that from normal, it's going to make SDR brighter, but it's going to make HDR uh, dimmer. And to know more about that, I would recommend you to watch the video from uh, Keep It Classy he made a video about that how to get an SDR brighter SDR image or something like that I forgot the name the name of the, the video you can ask me on the comments and I would find the video and, and give you the link so that's the other thing you can do so because I use black frame insertion most of the time for every single game I am not concerned about burning at all because black frame insertion based on my research is going to help to mitigate black uh, the burning because basically the pixels are not on all the time like it's being turned off super fast so the pixel is not like all the time it's like it's like it's doing this super fast it's turning on and off on and off on and off super fast so that is going to help with uh, burning, okay? Of course, better than just turn the brightness all the way up and use black frame insertion better than that is to not use black frame insertion, just being able to turn the brightness level down. That is going to prevent, so less brightness is going to help better with image retention. But between you know, brightness all the way up and no black frame insertion and brightness all the way up with black frame insertion with black frame insertion is going to be better when it comes to uh, burning based on what I know and my research so that's it uh, again study see if it makes sense for you I'm gonna do it in the videos I'm going to show the results that I'm gonna show I, this is what I'm using okay and if I end up changing that GSR I'm gonna tell you for now that's that's the way I'm gonna use the TV and of course I'm gonna use the TV uh, with that app and if you are if you are interested uh, in, in getting the black frame insertion working I'm gonna make a separate video about that how to get the black frame insertion working uh, on every game and I'm also gonna make some videos about how to get the best settings uh, with the plasma TV what are the settings that I use on the Nvidia control panel to make the plasma TV look uh, amazing for every single game so yeah 
I have more more ideas and more videos coming.